Hi, this is Chris Massiello of VitaminCM.com, and today we're going to look at using a tool on the Macintosh called Automator to make a couple of repetitive tasks a lot more easy. I'm looking at a folder where I have some of my images stored that I took off my digital camera, and every time I plug my camera in, it will import the pictures into a directory and create a subdirectory with the date that the pictures were taken. Now I like to store my photos by year then by month in a subfolder, but if you'll notice here for the month of April, I have several different days where I shot and I have tons of different photos down in all those subfolders. Now if you looked all over my computer in the other folders, you'd see a lot of similar groupings like this. I want to create a script where I can quickly just drop the parent folder on and it'll go down into all those folders and pull all the images out into the parent folder and then kind of rename them and delete some of the other folders. You can do this using Automator on the Mac. So I have Automator open here and this is what you want to use a workflow for. So I'll click create a workflow and I have all these different canned activities that I can drag onto my workflow. So the first thing I want to do is files and folders. So I need to grab a folder to work with. And as you can see down here, I made a copy of this April folder because I don't want to destroy any of my files while I'm trying to get this right. The first thing I need to do is create a drop zone so I can drop the folders that I want to work on. So I'm going to use the get specified finder action, drop that here. And this is where I'll be dropping my folders as I work. Now, I want this to be dynamic, so if I drop any file on here or any folder on here, it will dynamically update. So I need to create a variable. So if I go to utilities here and say set value of variable, this will be a new variable, and I need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it source folder. So anything that gets dropped up here will then become named source folder. Now I need to get the contents of that folder, so I'm going to go back to my files and folders list and say get folder contents, drag that here, and I want to check this checkbox repeat for each subfolder found. So that means it's going to loop through this action for all these folders. Now I need to use the value of that variable that I just set, so I'll go back here to utilities and drag in get value of variable. So here I created a value. Now down here I'm going to get its content. Now I only want to grab the images out of here. I don't want to grab the folders themselves. So I need to do a filter here. So if I go back up to files and folders, I'll say filter finder items and I'll say where all the following are true, kind of item is not a folder. So I want anything that's not a folder. So I'm going to need to use this variable again, so I'll go back to utilities and I'll say get value of variable and it's going to be the only one I have to find, source folder. So now that I've filtered all the folders out, I need to take the files inside and move them into the source folder. So I'll say move finder items and it's going to ask me for a location, a hard-coded location. I don't want that, I want a dynamic location, so whatever folder that I use. So I'll click source folder and it's almost ready to go. If you remember, if I go back up to the top here, what I need to do is tell it what folder I want to look at. So if I go back to finder and I'll take that folder, drop it on here. So now this will become the source folder and I'll click run. Workflow runs and it moved all the files up into the parent folder and if I go into all these child folders here you'll notice none of the files are in there. So we have a basic workflow that will get all the files out of the subfolders and move them up to the parent folder but it does a couple things that I'd still like to clean up. Number one, it leaves those empty subfolders behind and I'd like to get them out of there. And number two, I'd like to rename all the files when they get moved to the parent directory to make it look a little more clean. So let's start with that. After we move all our files up to that parent directory, I'm going to add the rename finder items. 
And it's going to ask me if I want to keep the original and make a copy or not. And I, I do not want to do that. I just want to rename them and get, and that's it. So what I want to do is select Make Sequential. And I don't want to add it to the existing item or name. I want to have a new name. And I'll start the numbers at 1. And I'll make all numbers 3 digits. And the new name will be April. Now, I also need to get rid of those empty folders. So what I'm going to do is use that variable again. So it's going to get the source folder. And then I want to filter through all those results. So I want to do the opposite this time. All the following with a kind is folder. So I want to go through the contents again and find only folders. And I want to move them to the trash. So if I run this again, I should get all these files out of the subfolders and move them up here to the parent folder then change their name and then delete the empty subfolders. So let's see what it looks like when it runs. So when it finishes, you can see I don't have any more of the subfolders left and all of my files were named April, then 001, 002, 003, etc. So that's a pretty complex workflow that will take care of renaming your files moving them around, deleting the empty subfolders that are left behind. You can use all different types of actions to do all different types of things in Automator and that was just a, an example that I wanted to show.